that's right so let's just uh, define fp to be f prime let's define fpp to be fp prime then this equation simply becomes fpp prime plus f plus fpp is going to be equal to zero right looking at these three there are three first order differential equations and let's think of solving this equation on a grid of y right so this is y equal to zero y equal to delta y and oh i shouldn't use y here i should use eta because i want to uh, solve the non-dimensional version of the equation so eta equal to zero which is a uh, simply a uh, scaled version of y and uh, eta equal to delta eta etc we can't really solve to infinity right so let's solve it to some value that is big enough and we can probably so we can probably look at the solution and answer what is big enough and the lucky thing is that we know this is a non-dimensionalized equation right and we know the solution should have a length scale of around one so we know what to choose we know if we choose the maximum eta to be 100 should be good enough if we choose maximum eta to be one is probably not good enough right so so let's uh, uh and you can probably see what is big enough by looking at the profile of f prime which is a scaled version of the boundary layer velocity profile all right so we have this grid okay and uh, uh, let's start discretizing these three equations so on every grid point we are going to store uh, we are going to store what is the value of f let's see f0 actually we are going to use MATLAB so we, we know it has f1 if you use Python or C it should be f0 f2 etc we are going to store fp1 fpp1 and fp2 fpp2 etc how do we discretize the first order derivatives there are several ways and uh, uh, let's say if we want second order accuracy which is kind of a compromise between the complexity and uh, uh, accuracy if we want second order derivatives can somebody suggest a method uh -huh. second order uh, center. center difference center. okay center difference takes the value at i plus one subtract the value at i minus one and divide by two delta two delta eta right but in this case that type of central discretization has a problem. It decouples the odd and even grid points. Okay, so it turns out that if you if you do that, all the all the uh, even all the all the uh, okay, so this is odd. All the odd f's are going to be coupled through the first equation to the even f primes, right? And all the all the uh, all the even f primes through the second equation are going to be coupled with the odd f double primes. And now through this equation, all the uh, so this is going to be then coupled with the uh, with these f's and f o double primes okay so so this is actually this the third equation actually couples the odd and even grid points so theoretically it's fine but there is a there is a better way to discretize it is to use the central difference not over not on integer grid points but over these half grid points the advantage is it, it provides a tighter coupling between the odd and even grid points so so basically i can discretize f prime at any grid point i plus half as f i plus one minus f i divided by delta eta 
And the problem is I also need to approximate f prime at i plus eta, so uh, i plus half. So the approximation is going to be also a second order central average. So it's f prime i plus f prime i plus 1 over what? 2, right? So this kind of approximation is called the, the trapezoidal rule. So the same thing we are going to use for fp prime and uh, fpp prime. So this is going to be the same type of one point central difference is going to be used to approximate fp prime and fpp prime. And also the same point average is going to be used for fpp and also f times fpp. So f times fpp for example at i plus half is going to be approximated as f i f p p i plus f i plus one f p p i plus one divided by two. All right. So with these equations, and let's say we have n grid points. Uh, so let's say we have n intervals, right, and uh, n plus 1 grid points. So, so here is going to be n plus 1, fp n plus 1, and fpp n plus 1. How many equations do we get in this kind of discretization if every equation happens at the half grid point? 3n, right? So we have n plus 1 unknowns at every grid point. But the equations, because it happens at half grid points, we have three less equations than unknowns. We have three n equations and three n plus three unknowns. So how can we deal with that? We have exactly three boundary conditions, right? So apply the boundary conditions. We have boundary conditions for this, for this, and for this. Okay, so then we have three n equations, three uh, three n equa equations discretized in the differential equation, three uh, boundary conditions. We have total of three n plus three equations solving for three n plus three unknowns. 